talking to Terry J. Vaughn. Congratulations on this amazing film. Jasmine Burke is such a talent. So what was it like working with her? Amazing. Um, it's a great to watch her growth. I've watched her since she first got started here and she's grown tremendously. When I read the script, I was like, I want Jasmine Burke and I got her and she was amazing. Yeah, wow. Terry, congratulations. You're a busy lady. She's actually about to leave right now. All right. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So we're talking to writer Cass Seegers with an S, Beatles, <laughs> of Angrily Ever After. Congratulations on this Thank film. You. Yeah. Thank you very much. It was so fun. yeah, it was fun. It's a funny one. let's talk about the inspiration behind it. Um, I I love comedy, and I think comedy always comes from tragedy. So as far as uh, what I do as a writer, I always just think of crazy situations, and I try to spin them on their head, and just try to make us laugh about that. So that was that's always my inspiration for anything I write. I write about tragic breakups and how you overcome them and all the craziness you have to go through to overcome. And that's kind of what this story is about. Wow. Yeah. And again, you've partnered with Terry J. Vaughn, yes. who's directing this film. Yes. It's starring Jasmine Burke. What was it like? Because that's a lot of black girl magic it going is. on there. It's starring Jasmine Burke. So it started with a, another black female, Brie, Brie Baylor, and she is with Octet Productions. So she's the producer. She reached out to me about writing it. Of course, I said, well, if we're writing it, then Terry's directing it, because that's kind of how we are the duo. And then we hired a lot of beautiful brown women to be in the movie. So it's a life like from the beginning all the way to the end to the executives at BET who are more brown women. So it's all good. I love it. Take us through, I guess, the writing process. When you're, are you at home drinking some coffee or some wine? Are you on, at the beach somewhere? What is the writing process like for you? I wish I was at the beach somewhere. I wish my writing process <laughs> took place in Greece, but it does not. It takes place in Smyrna, Georgia, a lot of times. Um, you know, I write all the time. So my, I keep a notepad or a journal on me. If you know me, my friends are always giving me books and journals to write in. So I'm always writing things down. Um, it always starts with either a song or a funny idea or it could be someone walking down the street and I think of something and I jot it down and from there a story is birth. So I have tons of outlines of tons of movies, but when I have to hone in and I have a particular thing, I write an outline, I take note cards and I start filling in my scenes from my outline and then I write my script from my note cards and it takes place between the coffee house, the house, the bed, the office, wherever I can pick up and, and just kind of start filling in. You know, it gets honed in as I have deadlines, but when I'm writing just for development, it's all over. Yeah. Well, again, congratulations. Yeah. All right, so we're talking to the amazing Jasmine Burke. I'm so proud of you. Thank you, Ray. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for all of your support uh, for me over all of these years. Thank you. No, no problem. So I got to say, I loved the movie. I really did love the movie. And I just love the fact that this really showed you in a different light. I mean, this is kind of like your first leading role in a romantic comedy. Am mm -hmm. I correct? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So let's talk about your character a little bit. Yes, I play Tia Logan. She is DC's number one it girl news anchor. And her life is all the way together in every single way that you can imagine. She has the fine rich man, she has the amazing career and a best friend that loves her, just a great life, but there's a veneer over it and the veneer gets shattered and she has to figure out how to put the pieces back together and the way she does it, we tell it in a very hilarious way. So this actually brings you uh, together with Terry J. Vaughn, yes. as well as Cass Seeger Beatles, who are just amazing. Nina Holiday does amazing work. And uh, what was it like working with them? Oh my goodness. Um, it's just, it was a dream team. A dream team. Because they had seen me progress over the years. Like, I took Terry's acting class, you know, and Cass, I had been around her as well on some different projects that she had written. But, you know, just like maybe I had a line or two in the movie. So they were familiar with me, and when they had an opportunity, they threw the ball to me. And I have to shout out Octet Productions, Chuck and Bree out of Washington, D.C., who also, they all came together and said, and there were a lot of people, other people behind the scenes from what I hear that were like, Jasmine Burke. Yeah, let's give Jasmine. And so it's just like all the, the universe came together for me to, to receive this role. You got a chance to work with some amazing actors. Sherelle Hill, we love. He's a CAU alum, as well as Toronto Jones from Empire. What was it like working with them? Because you guys had some really good chemistry. Oh my goodness, I love Toronto. That's my <laughs> sister in real life, y'all. Like, real life. We talk now. 
you know, we're busy working, but we have a bond off camera. Um, she's a very deep spiritual person. Like her own life story is crazy and amazing, but she's used her life and to empower her own self. And doing this movie, Angrily Ever After, while filming it, she would give me books to read because she wanted me to feel empowered too, just Jasmine Burke. She was like, I want to bless you as my new friend. Like, come on, let's, let's get lifted and empowered together. And so that bond is real on camera and off camera. Speaking of empowerment, let's talk about the empowerment message from the film of, of how basically you can start over from a situation that sort of blindsided you or, or starting over when things don't necessarily go the way that you planned. Oh, absolutely. My motto is as long as you're still breathing, there's always a chance. Always. I mean, you read about stories, people who have been addicted to drugs for 20 years and then they find the strength to turn their whole life around, you know. All kinds of tragic stories, but people get back up because until you're in that grave, it ain't over. And that's what, you know, the, this movie isn't that deep. But like, <laughs> I mean, not deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's not that deep. It's a romantic comedy. But it's, we, we talk about how you fall, but then you have to figure out how to get back up. And that's my motto, too. Like, as long as I have breath in my body, there's always a chance to get it right in turn. And let's talk about that comedy, because we've all seen you as a dramatic actress, but this is our first time seeing you as a comedic actress. So how, how much fun did you have doing that? I had so much fun. Oh, my gosh. I had so much fun. I want to do it again. <laughs> I want to do it again. Yeah, yeah. Call me. Yeah. Um, but no, I mean, on Saints and Sinners, I'm Dr. Christie, deep and dark and twisted, and playing Tia so effervescent and light and bubbly and vibrant. It was so refreshing. It was so refreshing. Now, in addition to the film, you also have a single out because she sings. Oh, yes. So let's talk about that a little bit if yes, we can. Yes, I have a song on the movie soundtrack, Chocolate Covered Strawberries. And, you know, it's, it's a delicious tune. <laughs> Can't wait for you guys to take a bite out of it. Thank you. <laughs> Well, Jasmine Burke, it's always a pleasure talking to you and much success. And congratulations on the film. Thank you.